Greetings, everybody, wherever you may be, and welcome once again to Kuru, the home of the Ariane family, for tonight's live broadcast of the launch of AMC-18 and Wild Blue One. The space base is coming alive at this hour in preparation of the launch activities, and it'll be our pleasure to bring all the events to you, including interviews with the key players for both the launcher and satellite. Liftoff of the Ariane 5 coming up. Our American viewers will be with Joshua Jean-Paul and Jean-Michel Desobos. Our French listeners will be with Thierry Bouvard and Frank Vasseur. And you can also follow us live on our website, arianespace.com. All live from Kourou. Ariane will be taking off momentarily. The final ignition sequence, you'll see the arms pull back, as we mentioned. Then you'll see the main engine light up. And then we take some seven seconds to check its functioning, and when the engine is found to be okay, then we send the command to the two uh, big solid boosters, apart, and then we have liftoff. So keep your eyes on all that sequence, folks. We're going to cut away. We'll let you watch the final moments with the DDO, and we'll be back after liftoff. Uh, tools de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Décollage. Seven seven zero tons lifting off from, from the pad. Ariane uh, beginning her mission didn't. Fin de la en we weren't able to see much because of the low clouds. We mentioned the weather today, but we can follow along by the figures. There's another camera, another shot. Ariane making her way through the clouds. You can see the main engine burning. The DDO saying all is normal on board. The figures on the left, Jean-Michel. Yeah, the uh, the curve first, maybe uh, the curve uh, representing the flight program, which is uh, loaded on board the uh, computer of Ariane, and on it you see that little moving uh, uh, cursor, cursor uh, which indicates the actual uh, position of the vehicle as uh, reconstituted from the onboard telemetry, and at the bottom some indications, the most important being the two lowest one, A for altitude. You see, we're already at 20 kilometer altitude and velocity. We are approaching the speed of a sp small handgun speeding bullet. Which is 800 meters per yep. second. And we, we are. And we to are separate ready. a satellite. Everything on board is okay, says the DDO. To separate the satellite, what's the speed we need? We need uh, much more than that. We need more than 9 kilometers per second. And the uh, interesting feature of the system is that we have, of course, uh, onboard telemetry. That telemetry is received here in Kourou, at La Montagne des Pères, and we have uh, our in-space engineers evaluating the telemetry in real time. And the uh, range operation manager received the information from our in-space folks up there and uh, retransmit this information to us, so we benefit from that, and also mostly uh, to the uh, Dan Range stations, which are spread all over the world to follow the launch tonight. Once again, our Ariane launch vehicle delivered accurately on the geotransfer orbit. It's two passengers tonight, World Blue One and AMC-18, which Allez, our clients, World Blue and SES American, entrusted to us. As Jean-Yves Le Gall indicated, our next rendezvous is on December 27th for the launch of Coro on a Soyuz vehicle from the Cosmodrome in Baikonur. So that'll do it for us here in Kourou. Early Christmas present for our friends at Wild Blue and SES Americom as Ariane 5 once again has delivered. On behalf of everybody here at the Space Center, Joshua Jample with my friend Jean-Michel Desobo saying thanks for being with us. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Good night and happy holidays. Happy holidays to all. <laughs>